Hey everybody, it's Cooprox here, and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to learn how to build a rather gray house out of stone and acacia wood. It's going to be a pretty cool house, it's similar to the house that I did on the other channel, made out of birch wood. It's going to be pretty cool, and I do have a little bit of a cold, that's why I sound a little odd. So, forgive me for that, I might be struggling, but anyway... Let's go ahead and get on with the video. So, we're going to need all the materials in this chest. So we're gonna need some acacia wood, some stone brick stairs, cobblestone stairs, cobblestone, polished andesite, stone, and just normal andesite, glass panes, whichever color you want that you wanna go with the house, some spruce wood stairs, and a spruce door, or whatever door you wanna use, but a lot of these materials you can change, you can make them look any way you want, but we're going to go ahead and get all the materials here. First off, we're going to need a frame, so we're just going to go ahead and start by doing this. We're going to be measuring in a lot of threes and fives, so we're going to put three there. Just like that, kind of make a square, then we're going to extend three outward on both sides. It's going to be very symmetrical house. Then we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. Place a block there. So that's a five gap. It's gonna be a lot of odd numbers, threes and fives, that kind of thing. Then we're just gonna fill in those in the correct placement. And these are where the windows are gonna go. You can change out the windows. You can change out anything on this build. This is just kind of to kind of get to the frame. So the frame is going to look a lot like that. Uh, so it's kind of big, kind of small, whatever you want to interpret it. But we're going to need to make all of these four blocks wide. So we're just going to add three of these. I'm going to go ahead and speed ahead so you will not have to follow this boring process. Okay. All the wood is in place. For now, we're going to have to place... Uh, blocks coming off of the corners on every corner, so two blocks like that, and then on every corner, and then there are going to be some of the inside, so just one on the inside because you can't really do anything else with it, and on the corners, corners, this is pretty much the entire frame done, we're just going to go ahead and connect all of the wood to the frame. And I'm going to go ahead and speed this up once again. Okay. So that's what the frame is going to look like. And we're going to go ahead and start with the roof. So the outer frame with the stairs is going to be made out of stone bricks. It's going to be very gray. So we're just going to go ahead and make a house frame. This is going to be the outside of the roof. This is just my method of doing it. You can do it in whatever way you want. Just realize you also need slabs. We're not going to use this for a while, so we can get rid of those for now. Slabs are crucial. There we go, that's done. Now, I'm just going to carry on with the frame the entire time. Do that from there and over here as well but in this part we're just going to do what we did on the front it's just going to be a larger roof so we're going to go ahead and make the frame and i'm just going to do that and throughout here we're just going to place all the blocks going in like that and i'm just going to go ahead and make do with the roofs or with frames sorry <laughs> So there we go. Now what the frame for the roof is going to look like. It's very gray, a little orange accent. I like this build. I like the all these textures. Uh, anyway, we can go ahead and start with the inside now. So what you're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place in cobblestone stairs everywhere that's needed. So like in the middles, because that's just... This, this is where the glass panes are going to go, not slabs right there, like that. And I'm just, this is going to be a very detailed inside of a house. 
So we're going to use all, all these different blocks here to go on the inside. This is just what's going to be for the, the glass. But for now, we're going to just fill in all of this with stone. And then we can swap out a few of the blocks for some of the other blocks. So go ahead and fill in all these little spaces, except for the top. That's where the other uh, stairs are going to go. So just, yep, keep filling in the inside of stone. So if you've filled in all the blocks of stone, it's going to look something like this. And then we're going to just go ahead and fill in all the tops with up upside down cobblestone stairs. And this won't take long. All you have to do is just keep filling these in. So just like that and have one above the door for more uh, detail above the door. So it's just not in block because I hate that too. And then we're just going to place in all the glass on top of all the stairs and really uh tell me in the comment section if you guys like a preference of glass better because the i like the normal glass texture but if, it, if you feel like it needs some color go down and let me know let me know your favorite kind of glasses i think this looks pretty good and it does but anyway we're getting pretty close now so what we're gonna do is with the polished andesite, the andesite, and the cobblestone, we're going to just go ahead and fill in, like just replace some of the blocks. It's all very similar texture. See, I, I like it that it makes like a lot of just detail. It's It looks very nice and cool to me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Just Fill in random, just break random blocks, fill in random blocks. I'm just going to do this, and I will meet you guys back when I've just went ahead and filled in the entire thing. So, yeah. So, there we go. That's basically the inside of the frame done. Uh, it's looking pretty nice, if I do say so myself. I just realized pretty a lot of the blocks we're gonna need buttons here in a minute, but let's not worry about that now. But anyway, this is not done, as you can tell. This looks very, very plain. And the roof looks kind of cool, but very, very plain. We want to go in with this theme, and apparently we want to throw our stairs on the ground. No, just kidding. So basically, what we want to do is we want to place stairs on all the corners. Leave these blank, not blank, but like plain. You could do that if you want, but that just looks very, very gray, and I just, there's a lot of gray. So go ahead and place this on all the corners. It's not a very long process, but it really, really, really does make it better. Then you're gonna wanna place upside down stairs on the corners again, up top, by the top of the frame. And once again, skip all of these and just keep going along. So it looks kind of like that. See, that just makes it look so, so much better. If you want, you can even add stone stairs in the middle. It looks kind of bulky, and I just find that putting in a slab, it actually looks kind of cool. So you can, all of this is optional. If you don't want all this detail, you don't have to. I'm just going to go ahead and add this in, see what it looks like. Of course, I know what it looks like because it made the house, but <laughs> there we go. And then, it's pretty much done for the corners, but for the inside, if we want just a little dash of color, we can go ahead and clear some of this out. So you can pick up, where is it, some cobblestone walls and where the fences, some acacia fences. We can go ahead and just alternate this like this. This gives it a little bit of color, like some like stilts. I think that looks very, very nice. You can do whatever you want. Once again, Minecraft is a sandbox game after all. You know, whatever floats your boat, yeah. But anyway, we're almost done. I'm just gonna go ahead and place in the door. We can get the door. Go ahead and place it on the inside. And I 
I don't know why I do that. I can't really place in my blocks today. I like that, how it goes over the door. Looks very, very nice. But anyway, we can go ahead and get, get on with the, the roof. roof. What we're going to do is make dark oak, birch, any type of wood for your roof. But what you want to do is you just want to go around with this roof on the back. Let's go straight on because it fits in. That's basically all I do. And we're going to need, once again, some slabs. I can find the slabs. I wasn't really prepared, was I? So for all this, so we're just gonna go in one block in. I think it's one block in. And go ahead and cover the entire top with slabs. I'm gonna go ahead and place in all these blocks and we'll be almost done, surprisingly. Still not place my blocks today. Okay, so that's the roof. I think that really goes along with the gray. And for as for these little spaces, really you can do like whatever you want with them. I mean, perhaps this would look good. Like, you don't have to do this with slabs, but just go ahead and fill in all the gaps with the wood to go along with the roof. Looks pretty good. I'm just going to do that. Do whatever you want. Seriously, don't. I mean, definitely you don't have to use these. I'm not forcing you. I can't really. Can't. But that looks pretty good. Anyway, we're basically, like, pretty much done with the house. But if you want to go above and beyond, like I do, I want to kind of hide all this orange because it doesn't really go in. And just add some buttons to all these at the corners. Just like that. Like that, like that, like that, like that, and there we go. That's basically the entire house done. I mean, of course, I've got this entire interior to do. That's up to you. I'm going to put on the screen just a few things that I've designed. Maybe like a, just an example of just inspire, because that's what I want to do. But pretty much... That is the entire house done. I mean, that looks really good. I mean, that's my opinion, though. I built it, so. But, whatever. Seriously, build it in your house. I would really appreciate it. So, thank you guys all for watching. Let me know if you liked this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Comment if you want to. That is it. That is the house. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and put together an interior design and put it on screen. So anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Croup Rocks. Stay tuned for more videos. I might be doing some Super Mario runs since this just came out. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. This has been Croup Rocks once again, and goodbye.